like and subscribe like and subscribe i hope it's not too early in this video to ask you to do that but i really want you to like and subscribe and i want you to go and get a nice drink from your kitchen and get your couch ready because this video is going to be entertaining and i guarantee it's one of the best ones i've done so far so you're going to need to get some popcorn uh maybe some lemonade i don't know um personally i drink a lot of kool-aid uh not what i'm drawing though because i'm afraid i'm gonna spill it on my drink on my artwork so I'm usually pretty dehydrated when I'm doing my artwork. I'm, I'm joking. But um, you, this is one of, I don't know, it's, it's, I'm getting on a roll with these little uh, dragon uh, drawings. It's not a drawing per se. It's a drawing with uh, watercolor, uh, India ink, and a little bit of acrylics for highlights. And it's, it's just really working out. Um, th this design just popped in my head. Uh, I went and I doodled it up, and I loved it. And uh, I had it all done within probably, I don't know, half an hour. Um, on this video, I knocked it down to like 10 minutes, which means I need to talk to you for 10 minutes. So I'm doing a wing. I think I, was, I patterned this off of a movie character, and I like their little wings. They were kind of cute, uh, but I put my take on it. Uh, I put all my pencil lines in it. Now, all these little pencil lines that you're seeing here, they will show up in the final product, which makes this really super cool. Because uh, I do the pencil shading along with the ink shading. And when you can see the pencil lines coming through the ink, it just really adds to it. Right now I'm putting on some uh, little checkers, not checkers, little dashes. It reinforces the, the thicker lines and, and, and gives them a little bit of a buffer. Makes them thicker and, and, and makes them stand out more. So I have to go around all of the outside edges. And I'm using my eight uh h pencil here and i love that pencil i need to get some more because they really run out fast because how, how quickly you use them i got two of them rolling right now uh, so when one gets a little dull i just pop, grab the other one and since i bought them last month well two weeks ago i've kind of gone through them i need to go just go online and um, just buy me a whole pack of them i also bought some charcoal but i don't think i'm going to use charcoal because that stuff can be really super messy and i don't want to get dust and crap all over my drawings and i'm not interested in doing charcoal shading with at least with this um, i'm used to charcoal shading i like it but boy is that a mess i, I bought some fixative for it but uh, for right now i'm going to concentrate on my doing my little goofy looking cartoon dragon monsters uh look at that look at the uh all those little dots i'm putting on there i'm adding some texture uh, that just came to me this morning i thought what if i add some some warts or some scales or something to to kind of buff that up and make it look more interesting so uh, right now I'm just adding all those little scales and that really adds more to the, the drawing, makes it more interesting. Um, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm on a roll today. I, maybe it's because I had a big old huge glass of coffee before I started this. Um, it's Sunday, so I hadn't, didn't have to go to work and the, the, the coffee at work is terrible. So if I'm home, I will make this pot of coffee and it's just a huge cup and I just gargle it down. I get all excited and it makes me want to go uh, do dragon pictures. Now, once again, with this eyeball, I actually used a, uh, one of those, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's, it's a thing with the circles in it, and I drew that circle that, uh, that size on purpose because I wanted that to stand out. And later on, I, I colored it all in with some black ink because I'm going for the puppy dog eyes look because uh, I'm trying to make this, this stand out and, and look like a, I don't know, it's not, not like a baby or, or an infant, but I wanted it to just stand out so people would notice the eye. And I do some of my uh, eye work that I do on my regular um, uh, acrylic paintings. And I'll tell you about it when I get to it. So right now I am just taking like a 60% ink wash and going over the edges and any, t any place that um, two, two areas connect where there's a valley where the light would uh, be darker. So I'm basically creating round edges on my white flat paper. And that's what art's all about. It's about creating an illusion. And uh, you see, I painted under that eyelid there. Well, I get there, I, paint, I made a mistake, so I went and fixed it. I painted on the line. Because when you have a shadow, it shadows under, it also shadows on top. Uh, oh, um, so, oh, here we go. Like and subscribe. It's another reminder. I need you to subscribe and like because I need lots of uh, subscribers and lots of likers and lots of comments. Comments, comments, comments. Because this, this video. If you're an artist and you want to learn uh, ink wash, this is the video for you. It's probably the, one of the best ones I've done. And I've been doing this for a long, long, long time. 
Um, I should be doing, uh, uh, we call that, um, when you have a sponsorship for the Indie Ink Company. I looked them up and they've already have like sponsors, so they're probably not going to want me to sponsor them. But um, I'm a big fan of the, of the India Ink. And now I'm going to probably about a 70% dark, uh, thickening up under some of the dark edges and really making some outlines stand out. I have probably three different uh, versions of my grays here or values. I have like a 30, uh, about a 60, and a 65, 70%. Um, I just have one tray going. It's off to the right of the screen. You can't see it. And I have different uh, drops in my tray so I can go out and pick what I want. And I kind of go on the fly. Um, I don't plan this out a whole bunch in advance. Uh, just Probably just because of the experience I have. I've been doing this. I keep saying that. Maybe I'm just too old. But <laughs> I've been doing it for so long, I just do it by, without even thinking. So I'm adding some of those darker lines there. That's basically it. the lighting is where the two lights come together and cast a shadow on a on an rounded edge. Edge. If you're into photography or anything, you you know all about that kind of stuff. Um, I will say my photography uh, enhances my art. My art enhances my photography. Here goes my eye. Um, I go and I do the the dark eye. I leave that little pupil thing. Um, I didn't know if it worked. Evidently it didn't because I just painted over it. Um, now I'm going in with my, it's, it's Thalo Blue, I think it said. I'm not even sure. I just grabbed a, a tube uh, off the counter because it looked like it was green. And I went with green and yellow, which at first I didn't want to do because I think green and yellow looks like puke. Uh, but it worked. It worked. So I, I can't complain. Green and yellow is, is not my favorite. I was originally going to do like um, uh, uh, red and blue. I'm, I'm glad I went with this. So I'm going in, putting in some spots and some stripes on my uh, little dragon here. Um, lower my lower my picture down so I can see my wings. Um, I love the way the wings look. I uh, hope you can see this on your big screen TV. So if you're sitting at home with your popcorn, I hope you're watching this on your big screen TV and not on your tiny, tiny little phone because you're missing out on all the fun stuff. Um, if you want to be a real artist, I, I shouldn't say that. You probably are a real artist. But if, if you want to learn from me, you need to see the details and you're not going to get it on a phone. You might be able to see it on a laptop. I don't know. But I put I watch all my videos and everybody else's videos on uh, the TV screen. And I noticed TikTok is saying nowadays that um, they want you to make your videos uh, horizontal instead of video, uh, vertical so they can play them on TVs too. And I have a TikTok account. All my paintings go on there as well as my photography. But um, uh I'm concentrating mainly on my uh, YouTube Dragon, Keith Trim Dragon Art. Oh, here comes my lip. I, I love the way this lip looks. Okay, here's something I need to tell you about. Uh, in watercolor, you get highlights by avoiding painting on certain things. So there's two ways to get highlights. You can either avoid that and you use the paper, white of the paper, or you can come back later with some white paint and kind of tint it, which I did right there. Uh, I did both things. I, I tinted the paint red, so it's a little bit pink, and put it on as a highlight. Um, I did I did it both ways. Normally when I do eye, eyes, 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 eyes on the acrylic, I do it that way. I, will, I have a way of mixing the paint so the eyes look like a crystal. Then I'll come back over like I'm doing right here and adding little green highlights with the paint. It's kind of hard to plan in advance where your highlights are going to be if you're doing little things like little bumps and scratches and whatnot. So I have no problem doing both. So I'm combining two different ways of doing highlights. One is by leaving the paper white, which is a watercolor technique. The other is by uh, adding white with a little tint, which is an acrylic painting technique. So I'm doing both. Um, now what I'm doing is I'm adding some gray tone to the background because I want the, some of that white edge stuff to pop. And it's not going to pop if the background is completely white. I thought about going with a blue background. I did that the last couple of paintings. So I thought this time I'll change it up and I'm going to go with just some gray. Uh, that's probably what a 50-60% gray tone and it, like it makes that horn really stand out on the left side that highlight because there's something to balance it against. So I go over the top and there's, there's a little highlight on top of that eye. It helps balance that out. Same with this other eye. So it, it's just it's not too dark. It's kind of the middle of the road. Um, I didn't feel like putting a whole... I, I put a lot of work into this painting. A lot of work into this painting. Oh, like and subscribe. Lower left, left side, like and subscribe. Make comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me if I suck. Am, am I a terrible artist or did you learn something from this? So um, I'm putting on a bunch of highlights. I colored in the, pu the uh, pupil and I'm signing my name. And thank you for showing up.